Hello everyone, this is Scabcat242 and here's my review on the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch scale figure, Dr. Aphra. So this was a figure I had been anticipating when Hasbro announced they were going to make a figure of this character. Now for those who are not familiar, uh, Dr. Aphra was a character introduced in the uh, Star Wars comics when Marvel uh, took over that property again and she was a, rare, a very interesting character. Uh, it was I was really anticipating if she would get an action figure and she did, but she did get a three quartering scale figure, which I will show in a bit. But um, I was really pleased to know that we got a six inch scale figure, and here she is. And I gotta say, Hasbro did a pretty good job on the sculpt. Uh, she doesn't come with much other than her uh, her helmet, which is removable, and she has that pistol, which can be stored in her holster right there. But sculpt paint was pretty good. I'm really glad I found her because apparently she is only packed one of her case from what I was told and then I got lucky and I found her at Target one day and now she's part of my Star Wars Black series collection. So let's take a look at the face sculpt. I think it's pretty good and as I said the helmet is removable. I think their face sculpting with their uh, paint app technology is getting a lot better. So I think the head sculpt is really good. The vest is made out of a soft goods material, more of like rubbery material that is removable so you could take that off if you want. The pistol, as I said previously, can easily be stored in her holster like that. So articulation, so it's pretty much the standard black series articulation that we're gonna get. I'm not gonna go too much in there but she does have an interesting ab crunch which I've not seen in most of the female figures so she can bend down that far and that much back so kudos to Hasbro engineering some new oh that's interesting I didn't even know about that so she also has that upper waist articulation so yeah I would really like to see more articulation like this in more of their figures so it seems like Hasbro's doing some more homework which is great to see so took a look at her more so let's compare her to her three quarter inch scale figure so here is the three quarter scale version of Dr. Aphra. So as you can tell, the design's still there. Um, different colors on the vest, pants, different color, holster is about the same. Uh, her shirt's a little bit different. Um, she's got kind of this V-shaped uh, top she's wearing as this one's just a regular uh, t-shirt, but still cool. Uh, her helmet unfortunately is bolted onto her head so you can't remove that. Pistol is about the same. Still has the same arm tattoos. Um, this is a cool figure to have, but I think I prefer this one a lot more, just in detail and the fact that there's uh, possible cu custom ability we can do with this figure. But they're both good, and I was happy to get this, but this one is definitely going to be displayed more on my Star Wars collection. So, overall thoughts, I think she's a good figure. I definitely recommend picking her up if you can find it. I heard she's the more harder one to find in this wave right now. So. That is my review on Dr. 